Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning. Two meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this uh, uh, Thursday morning. And as we uh, look at the day ahead of us today, temperatures starting to come down after a very mild day yesterday. Temperatures will continue to come down over the days ahead. One, we've got a cold front coming through here. That's going to shift our winds out of the west and northwest. There is some very limited light rain. And I'll even back this up so you can see it. There's even been a little bit of snow across northern Nebraska. Not really accumulating much, though. But it's very limited moisture. Most of us won't see a whole lot out of this. Later today, we'll get a little more sunshine before the sun sets, which sunset is now right around 6 p.m. here in the Tri-Cities area. Winds a bit breezy today out of the north, west and northwest. They should start to die down tonight. Mostly clear skies, but maybe a couple of pockets, a little bit of light rain or sprinkles in southwest Nebraska. But most of us will see mostly clear skies tonight. Tomorrow we start off sunny. We'll see an increase in clouds as the day goes on, perhaps late in the afternoon. A little bit of limited moisture near and south of the Tri-Cities. So very light rain, which will then shift to the east and move on out. So then quiet weather for the rest of Friday night into Saturday morning. Saturday morning, western Nebraska and northeast Colorado might see some light snow. I'm looking at this possibly moving in this general direction here. So most of it will miss us, but might skirt by southwestern portions of the area uh, during the day Saturday. So most of us, though, will not see much, but a little bit of very light snow in southwest Nebraska. Well, temperatures for today, cooler but still above average. We'll see highs from the low 40s up north to the mid and maybe upper 50s here to the southeast. How about 62 in Fall City? But fortunately, not most of us not that warm. We'll shoot for low 50s around the Tri-Cities. Tonight's temperatures down into the mid to upper 20s and lower 30s. Tomorrow, we're looking at 40s for most of us, maybe near 50 in the southeast. We may not even get to 40 in north central Nebraska. Friday night and Saturday, a little colder yet. Most of us will be down into the 20s. And then as we look ahead to your Saturday, this will be the coolest day of the forecast. Highs in the mid to upper 30s and then low to mid 40s as you go to the south and southeast. So cooler, but pretty close to, if not still slightly above average for this time of the year. Let's look at the long range forecast as you see temperatures coming down heading into the weekend. And then uh, Sunday a little bit better. It starts to warm up a little bit, but we'll see a bigger warm up by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, back up to around 50 degrees there, a little bit breezy, but with uh, mainly quiet weather expected through the middle of next week. After Wednesday, it does look like temperatures may start to come back down again towards the end of next week, but still near to slightly above average. Temperatures are expected as we get down the road. Let's take a look at a couple of things here. We'll look at forecast models. Here's the North American model. It only goes out three and a half days. So we'll take a look at this real quick here once it loads up. There it is. So again, the very limited moisture this morning. The next chance would be Friday afternoon and evening looking at southern areas and again it's not much and then the next chance after that would be saturday and this is mostly going to be western and then southern areas most of it's going to miss us to the south though as we head towards sunday morning the european model all these models there's not a lot of major differences here is today again the limited moisture today this morning we'll jump ahead to tomorrow afternoon and evening the light rain that that's a little farther north which would give us at least a chance of some of those light showers i don't think it'll be very heavy rainfall and then that chance of snow coming into western nebraska saturday morning shifting down into kansas and oklahoma saturday night into sunday morning could be a decent little snow event down there in some areas that don't usually get snow this time of the year but for us we will mostly likely mostly miss it other than maybe southwest nebraska right in there and then after that not a lot of active weather through the middle of the week. Maybe some other minimal chances of moisture. Later in the week, system may be passing to our north and northeast, and then another one there. But right now, it looks like no major systems affecting us through next weekend here. Let's look at the GFS model. Again, the limited moisture today, this morning, moves on out of here this afternoon. Next chance will come later Friday afternoon into Friday night. This mo the model doesn't have much right here. You notice there's not much here on the... Uh, forecast model until it gets well to our southeast then we look to saturday for that chance of snow out west that will then move towards northern kansas this one the gfs does at least bring western areas a chance of some light snow saturday night not much though expected with that here and then the main part of that storm will shift to our south then uh next week again some very minimal chances of moisture just continue here so we're not going to see a whole lot in our forecast even through later next week into the following weekend. Temperature-wise, again, you've kind of already seen it, but we're going to be cooling back these next three days. And then as we go to uh, next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it starts to warm back up just a little bit there. Wednesday, probably the best day, and then we start to cool back down later next week. That's a little concerning right there as we get towards next weekend is what I see to the north. Another shot of Arctic air. Could it be on our doorstep? 
Now I'd say probably the worst of it may miss us to the, the, it may go this direction here, but we may get a glancing shot of a little bit of colder air down the road. And then one look at the European or the uh, GFS forecast model again. Here's the warmer weather coming in uh, next week right there. And then later next week we start to cool down a little bit, but this model's not as aggressive with the cold air like the European model is. So that's where you start to get more differences in the forecast models. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this Thursday morning. I hope it's a good one for you. I'll see you all again on Friday. Take care and God bless. Bye.